If you're someone who struggles with flat, limp, or greasy looking curls, then you may be using the wrong curly hair products. I'm gonna show you some of the best curly hair products for thin curly hair to help you achieve more volume, root lift, and fullness. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Gina, and here I make videos all about naturally curly hair. I love simplifying things for beginners and really helping you all problem solve with your curls. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Let's go ahead and dive in. So let's first clear up a few terms. What is the difference between fine curly hair, thin curly hair, and low density curly hair? Because you will hear me use those terms a lot and it really helps to have a good understanding, especially when you're picking products and learning how to take care of your curls. So fine curly hair is a type of strand thickness or some like to call it texture, which is what I call it. Texture can be fine, medium, or coarse. And if you have fine curly hair, then you have the smallest width of individual hair strands. This is probably the most important thing to figure out about your curls because products tend to vary in weight. Some are more lightweight or more heavyweight than others. And so if you understand that, you will know when to use the right weight of products and also how to not have your hair get weighed down because that can lead to very limp curls. Low density hair is different and that is hair that is thin in its overall thickness. So it means you don't have a lot of hair on your head. There's not a lot covering the surface area. That's what I have. I have hair that is medium to coarse textured, so I don't have fine curly hair, but it is low density, so I don't have a ton of hair. It's not super thick, so it just looks like I have fine hair overall. But if I were to use products that are super lightweight, I might not get enough moisture, especially for my coarse areas. Density more so comes into play when you're figuring out how much product to use. So I could use a thicker curl cream like a butter, but I just need to not use too much or else I can still get very weighed down hair. So what is the bottom line with all of this? If you have any of these combinations of hair types, whether if it's fine or if you have low density hair or both, you probably are looking to achieve more volume and what you want to look for in your products include products that are not going to be too heavy to weigh it down so you might want to avoid things like heavy oils and butters you also might want to look for products that have things on the label such as volumizing or thickening or texturizing that's another one the amount of protein in your products is going to vary depending on the health of your hair or your hair's porosity and then you might also want to consider the hold level of your styling products, especially when it comes to the results that you want and how long you want your curls to last. So for this video, I'm not gonna be covering shampoos and conditioners really because I don't find that they vary a ton when it comes to having fine or low density hair, but some things that you wanna keep in mind are you wanna make sure that you're using a good cleansing shampoo. So you don't wanna be using a co-wash as your only shampoo because you're going to end up with very weighed down curls and over moisture dries curls that don't spring up. You also want to make sure that you are clarifying regularly. So those are some things to look for in a shampoo. And when it comes to conditioner, you might want to go on the lightweight side or just not use too much, or maybe you want to avoid applying a heavy conditioner to your roots. Those are some things to keep in mind, but for the most part, we all need a moisturizing conditioner. So the first category is going to be leave-in conditioners and curl creams. So leave-ins and curl creams both are meant to provide moisture, so it's a first step to your routine. You can totally use both, but I don't always find both necessary. Leave-in conditioners just provide moisture, they help detangle, and just give your hair that conditioning feeling, it softens it and just makes it feel more manageable. But curl creams sometimes can have styling agents in them that help to improve the appearance of your curls. So maybe they help with clumping or they help to spring your curls up more, for example. So for each category, I'm gonna give you a protein-free option and a protein option, just depending on what type of products that you like and depending on your hair's porosity or damage level. But keep in mind that Pretty much any combination can use protein or protein-free products. And in fact, you actually want to have a balance of both, but I wanted to give you guys enough options. I'm also gonna include both drugstore and higher-end options throughout. So the first combination is if you have fine hair and low to medium porosity. I'm grouping low and medium porosity because it's essentially the same. I mean, you can definitely use some protein for these as well, but you don't need as much protein as someone with high porosity hair. So I first have a 
Leave-in slash curl cream that is protein free. This is the Curl Smith Shine Recipe Fragrance Free Shine Cream. So this is labeled as a leave-in conditioner, but I find it kind of acts like a cream. It's a little bit thicker than your standard leave-in conditioner, but yet it is very lightweight. So the thickness of a cream product doesn't always associate with lightweight or heavyweight. However, if you're using like a very thick butter, that probably is pretty heavyweight. But anyways, this is like your light slash medium texture curl cream. So this one is fragrance free, like all of the Shine recipe products from Curl Smith, but the texture of this is very creamy, it's very moisturizing, and I love my results with this. It really does increase the shine in your hair, super moisturizing too. So you might notice that castor oil is the second ingredient, which is typically pretty heavy, but sometimes ingredients are broken down to be much more lightweight, so you can't always just flag a product as being heavy just because you do see a heavier ingredient. You really have to try it, unfortunately, to be able to tell if it is lightweight or heavyweight. But if you saw a bunch of coconut oil or shea butter ingredients, in the very top of the list, then that could be too heavy for your fine hair. Next option does have some protein, so this is gonna be great for those of you with fine curly hair and high porosity hair, but any porosity could totally use this. This is the AG Recoil Curl Activator. I've talked about this in all of my product suggestion videos because it's such a great product. I believe this is like an award-winning product or like a fan favorite or something from AG, but this is a little bit on the thicker side for creams, but it does have a lot of styling agents in it that really do help to bounce your curls back up. Every time I use this, like when I'm brush styling, I'm getting those like super thick, chunky curl clumps. It really does help to clump the curls and help increase just the recoil of your curls. So I definitely see why it has that name. It does contain quite a bit of protein ingredients in it. This is a great option paired with their liquid effects gel. It really gives me good results. So then when it comes to gel, there's a few things you wanna keep in mind. Gels often vary in how lightweight or how heavy they are, but also their holds level. That's probably how they vary the most. Some are light hold, medium, or strong hold, or even like extreme hold. Your hold level is really going to depend on the results that you want and also how long you want your curls to last and also your porosity. So if you have more damaged hair that's more susceptible to frizz, you're probably going to need a stronger hold gel. Whereas if your curls are very healthy and low porosity, you probably don't need as much hold or you're not as sensitive to things like humidity that you know, really does need a stronger hold gel. So for the fine hair option with low to medium porosity, I suggested a medium hold gel. So this is the Umberto Giannini Curl Jelly Scrunching Jelly. So this is a really great drugstore gel. This is not super drying like a lot of drugstore gels can be. You find that drugstore gels are not always showing up on my channel because I'm super picky with gel and I really need performance in a gel because my hair gets very frizzy, especially in humidity. But this does contain a couple of ingredients that do help fight humidity, so it is a good option. But it's not super strong hold. This is like a medium hold gel. So it's not super strong crunch. You can get softer curls depending on how much that you use. Then for a super strong option, I have this one from Jessie Curl. This is the Spiralicious. I've been talking about this a lot lately, but this is a very lightweight option, which is why I wanted to share it with you all because it doesn't have a ton of ingredients. There's really not a lot or any moisturizing ingredients in this product. I find that a lot of the Jessie Curl products are very low in moisture, so perhaps try out more of that brand if you get very weighed down curls. Personally, it doesn't have enough moisture for me, so I definitely have to use a curl cream underneath of this or else my hair gets very dried out. I haven't really found a good curl cream to pair with it yet from Jessy Curl because their products are so lightweight. So I like using things like the Recoil with it or the Bounce Curl Cream, that's a great option to use with it. But it's super lightweight and it does have humidity blocking ingredients and it is pretty strong hold and it does last a very long time in my hair. So for those with fine hair and high porosity hair, that Jessie Curl option will totally work for you as well. But you will definitely want to look for stronger hold the higher porosity that your hair is and probably a little bit more moisture in your gel, which is why I wanted to feature this one for the high porosity side of gel. So this is the Twist by We Dead Weather Up Gel. So this is going to be excellent in humidity because it has a lot of humidity blocking ingredients, but it's still lightweight, yet it does have some moisturizing ingredients in it. So you'll see ingredients like polyquaternium, which is a film forming ingredient that helps in humidity, but it's also conditioning. It also contains ingredients in it 
that help with just the overall shine and moisture of your hair like argan kernel oil, but it's lower on the list. And it does have hydrolyzed wheat protein. So this one does contain protein, but it's not super high on the list and there's not a bunch of them. So great all around, really lightweight gel. This is like a typical gel formula. It's a little bit milky in consistency and I would consider this a medium hold. So then for a super strong hold option for those of you that really want strong hold or struggle with humidity, I have the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Lasting Definition Hard Hold Gel. So you guys have probably heard me say before how I don't love this type of formula of gel where it's super thick and hard to apply, but the results that I get from this, I cannot deny that they are great results. I just don't love the feeling of it. It has a very tacky feeling to it, like not tacky, but very texturizing feeling, which helps a lot with volume. So every time I use this, I have like the chunkiest curl clumps with a ton of volume and fullness and the volume actually stays. So if you do really struggle with volume or if your curls fall flat throughout the day or you just can't get that root lift to stay, like when you fluff your curls, Maybe go with something that does have a little bit more texture in it. I've heard that people with fine hair really like texturizing products. For my hair type though, I'm medium to coarse and it just makes it feel even more brittle, but the results are amazing. It does contain keratin amino acids and then also rice extract, which is essentially a strengthening ingredient, but it's not a full on protein. So it's not gonna like give you protein overload or anything like that, but it's still a strengthening. I definitely need a curl cream underneath this one. The Curl Talk cream from Not Your Mother's works just fine or their new mousse cream or whipped cream product that I shared recently. That one pairs really well actually underneath of this because it is lightweight. So speaking of mousse, let's actually get into the mousse category, which is a really great option for people that do have fine hair or if you do really struggle with volume because mousse is very just like airy and lightweight and it also expands so it can really help create volume. So if you have fine curly hair and low to medium porosity, or even if you have high porosity, the option that I picked for you is the Innersense Eye Create Definition Styling Foam. This is labeled as a foam, but it gives you the hold of a mousse. So it can be used as your main styler, which is why I put it in the mousse category because regular foams typically don't have any hold. They're just for creating like grit and volume, but this is like the strongest hold product that I have ever tried. I've been talking about this over on Instagram. You can check out my pinned story highlights on my Instagram page if you wanna see like my entire trial and error process with using this. Of course, I used too much when I first used it and I had extreme hold that I could not scrunch out. And then the second time I paired it with a curl cream from Innersense, actually the whipped cream texturizer. That's another great cream option for those of you that do want some texture in your hair and volume. And then I think I tested it with some other curl creams and it worked beautifully. I just had to use less product because Innersense products are super concentrated and a little goes a long way. So I don't think this has any protein ingredients, which is surprising because Innersense is known for having a lot of protein ingredients, but it does have aloe in it and it has some of those sugar ingredients that are going to help give your hair lots of hold and definition. I've never seen a natural type of holding ingredient that holds this well. Like this is the first time I've tried that. Typically gels or stylers that are super natural and don't have like those polyquats and stuff don't hold up on me, but this one is definitely an exception. So let me know if you guys wanna see a full review on this. I can definitely do that because it's tricky to figure out the right amount to use, but my curls lasted for days. They did get a little dry though after about two or three days. So I only get like four days out of it probably, but the hold, it's crazy, you gotta try it. Then I have another mousse option, which is more of a normal hold level. This is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curl Activating Mousse. So this is great for humidity as well. This says it's a level two hold. I would probably consider a little bit stronger hold. I guess it depends on how much that you use. I don't have to pair this with the gel. I can use this just on top of a curl cream as my main styler and my curls do hold up. I had one of the best wash days, I believe, with this. I just remember this one giving me so much volume and lots of curl clumps. So next category is just going to be volumizing products, which are just like little extras that you can add into your routine. So I only have one to share with you, and that's the Curlsmith full body thickening lotion. And the reason I'm featuring just this one is because this is one of the few products where I can truly see a difference in the amount of volume and fullness that I have in my hair. It's crazy. I definitely was skeptical at first because I'm like, how is just this little lotion-y type of product that's like a leave-in going to give me volume? But it's crazy how it works. If you read about how this product works, it actually expands the hair fibers, which 
you would think would lead to less curl clumps, but for some reason I still get curl clumps, but I also get a lot of volume. So it's crazy. I can show you my photos with this. It also helps to cut down on your dry time. It's very lightweight. Anything from Curlsmith that's part of that blue scalp recipe is going to be very lightweight. It's just like a lightweight liquidy leave-in type of consistency, but you wanna apply this, I believe after your leave-in conditioner, but before your styling product. So it's like that in between. If you're just gonna use a curl cream and a gel, you can just go in straight with this first and then follow up with your curl cream and then your gel you won't believe the difference that this product makes. And then just like your regular types of foams, those can also really help with volume too. So I will definitely list some of those on the blog post that goes with this video. I'm gonna have lots more options, by the way, for all of these categories. So that way you can get even more options, but that's gonna be in the blog post, which is linked below. One last category I wanted to cover is hairspray. And hairspray is such an underrated product for curls, but especially people with fine curly hair. I have heard people say, like some of the girls that I follow that just have fine curly hair on Instagram, they talk about how they use just a curl cream or a leave-in and a hairspray. like using hairspray in place of a gel, which is crazy to me. My hair would be so dry if I did that. But if you have very fine hair and you want strong hold, I could totally see how that could work. So I think a good one to try that method with, or even just use as a regular hairspray, it would be the one from Bounce Curl. This is the alcohol-free hairspray. And the reason I wanted to feature this one is because it is a water-based spray. It's not an aerosol spray like some of the other ones I've tried. This is a water-based spray. So I could see you using this as a styler because it is that watery consistency so you can totally use it on wet hair instead of like using it on dry hair when it's water-based, but you totally can do that as well. That's usually how I use it just as a finisher. But keep in mind, this does give extreme hold and wherever you spray it on your hair, you will have like a hard spot. So I usually will spray it in my hands. I think they have a new bottle, by the way. I think they have more of like a mister bottle with this. This is an older one that had a pump, so ignore that. Maybe the new one does apply better, but you just wanna make sure you use a very small amount of this or maybe like spray it in the air and let it just fall down on your hair. It just gives like a veil of hold. So a lot of times if I'm gonna be out in the humidity for a long time, or if I really want my curls to last, I will use this just as a final step. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna list a bunch more options for you guys because there are a lot more gels that I recommend for fine hair on the blog post that goes with this video that will be linked in the description box down below. I will put the links to the products that I featured here in the description as well as in the pinned comment below the video. And if you're still wanting some more suggestions, then I recommend checking out the playlist that I have here on my channel called How to Pick the Right Products for Your Hair Type. And I basically give a suggestion for every single combination of hair that you have in every single category. So if you want more shampoo recommendations or deep conditioners or more stylers, you can check out that video. I will have it linked right here on the screen and I'll talk to you over there. Bye everyone.